out of nothing. I have a feeling I'm going to see a lot of this. Now well, I'm in Roseman. Interesting mural. I actually think, let's go over here. I think there's some more of a mural painted over here. What the heck, there's a, they have a dog painted in the fighter seat and a cat. Wow. Uh, look at that, a dog. A, a cat. Oh, I definitely got a sense of humor here in Roseman. Oh my god, yeah. They look like sea otters or something directing the planes. This is just amusing. On the 14, heading to the Stater Brothers. That's, uh, I think I still got like 14 miles to go. All the windmills and solar panels. Some rail cars. And then I was messing with the derailleur on the bicycle earlier. I climbed the barbed wire fence like that, and there was a old sign that was perfect for hanging my bike up on to work on it. I tried climbing over the fence, the it snapped underneath me, and I fell on the barbed wire. That was fun. So now I gotta. I'm trying to remember the last time I had a tetanus shot. There's no place around here that I could go get a tetanus shot. The next place along in my journey would be all the way in Lone Pine. And I'm still a ways away from there, so... Ugh, I hope I don't get tetanus. Even though with all the little hiccups that I've had along the trip, I still love this. I'd rather be doing this than be at work. This is way more fun. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just gotta look on the bright side. At least I'm not at work. Trying to get motivated to get out of the motel this morning. You can see the camper out there. Um, my tire was low this morning again, so I, did, I took the tube out. And since I had a sink, I made like a dunk tank and pumped it up and was able to try to locate the leak. It was leaking from the patch, very slow leak. So I just changed the tube out. I'm going to keep the the one with the slow leak for now as a spare, just in case. And um, I'm actually backtracking to Tehachapi. So I'm adding over 50 miles to my trip. Um, there's a bike shop, Cycle and Go up there. So I'm gonna hopefully get my drivetrain issues squared away with my bicycle. Um, camper's been fine. There's a Home Depot there. Maybe I'll try to finagle the the brakes or something more. Maybe I'll get some diff just new brake line at the bike shop if I can get it or something. Some new brake cables. I'll, maybe I'll just try running new brake cables because there's resistance through it from when the tow bar snapped and mangled them all up. So, so they're not operating smoothly. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna get going. It's supposed to be. I think 20 or 30, 
25 to 30 or 35 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 50 miles. So, and it's heading west southwest direction. I'm gonna briefly head kind of northeast, so it'll kind of work in my favor a little bit. And then I'm gonna end up heading left onto the 58, and then it'll be just straight headwind and uphill. So, fun. But anyways, it's time to check out and get going. Go this way two miles, and then I'm gonna be going probably that way. <laughs> Tried to patch once, didn't hold. I'm trying it again. If it doesn't work a second time, I'm gonna have to throw the leaky fucking tube on this with a slow leak. And it's leaking from where I had patched it on the other tube and try to get to Tehachapi to, to get some better inner tubes for this trailer. Just what a, what a start to the day all the wind my hat just blew off I could tell it's just good. oh well this is the point of it it's to suffer that's why I'm here man race the suck so let's see if this other patch holds yeah the second patch didn't hold so that tube's shot um, it's not holding there I can't get it to patch the hole's too big so I'm gonna have to use this slowly leaking one that's already been patched and it's slowly leaking from the patch. But I put some cement around the outside edge. I'm gonna let it dry and hopefully maybe that'll help seal it up a little bit better. But So I'm gonna be riding with no tube, just patches, and hope to get to Tehachapi, which is like 20, 23 miles with these winds so all right let's do it let's pray this holds all right i gotta get going i have no low gears i was looking at the cassette and there's teeth on the cassette that are all chewed up that are rounded up so the cassette's garbage Brand new cassette. I was riding months with that other cassette. And didn't have any issues. Get this cassette and it just turns to garbage. Oh my god. I know that this is adding a lot of resistance to the drivetrain pulling this camper, but I mean, come on. I had that other cassette, original cassette on this bike and was riding around for months with that camper. got something better at the bike shop but I'll probably be pushing this thing I'm having to stand up and pedal and then I got the wind against me so it's like everything's against me today so but still beats working Literally pushing the whole way. I cannot even pedal with my drivetrain slip in and this headwind. Straight headwind.
shout out to Cycle and Go Cyclery. They really helped me out. I thought they were going to close at 5. They actually closed at like 6. So they were able to help me out with my shifting issues. And uh, I was able to get some new inner tubes. So yeah, very helpful people. Very friendly. I'm happy that I was able to be here. I know it's dark and the, the lighting's terrible. I don't really care though. I'm so beat and exhausted. I'm in Tehachapi. I'm at the Walmart parking lot. And um, they have signs that say no camping. I asked an associate and he said they don't really check. So I'm just going to stay here tonight. Um, the campground that I was going to go to they, they, they're closed already I'm going to see if they'll let me do tent site for five bucks a night and I might just stay here for like a few days made it to the bike shop and the guy adjusted my derailleur but um, I'm still having chain slip so I'm going to probably knock a link out that's what he suggested so I'll probably knock a link out of it and see if that helps. Um, and then I got some heavy duty inner tubes for the trailer. I'll have like three spare inner tubes and I'll put heavy duties on. And I got a foot pump, like one, a stand that I can stand on and, and, and pump better, but not, it's not too crazy big or anything. So, cause I'm tired of that hand pump. Oh, I'm trying to pump up the tires up. So, anyways, I'm so tired. I'm delirious and not making sense. And um, the winds killed me today. So, anyways, good night.